Good morning, Wildcats. Today is Wednesday, September 8th. Please rise for the Pledge to the Flag. Hello, my name is Brandon Colombo, and this is the, and I'm from the Howard School, and this is the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. A moment of silence. Thank you. Please be seated. Today's quote of, on the importance of responsibility is from Joan Didion. The willingness to accept responsibility for one's own life is the source from which self-respect springs. Think about these words as you make your way through week two of school. Diversity Club will be having its first meeting today at Power Block in the Learning Commons. All students grades 7 through 12 are welcome to participate. We are about to put in an order form for new apparel and items for the school store. We want student and staff input. Please stop by the office before the end of the day if you have an idea about something you would like to see being sold in the school store. We are looking for senior interns to intern in the school store. If you have a lunch block intern period and would like to work in the school store, please see Mrs. Page. Reminder to students that staff bathrooms are labeled. No student should be using these bathrooms. Any student found using these bathrooms will be consequenced. Also, students are not to park in staff parking spots, even if it's after school. Hoopla is an exciting new streaming service available to anyone with a West Bridgewater Public Library card. Download the app to your phone, tablet, or connect through your Chromebook, and you can stream music, movies, TV shows, audiobooks, and ebooks with no charge. You get to keep them on your device for two weeks, and then they drop off with no late fee. And you can also borrow up to 20 items per month. There is no need to go into the library. You can do it from home, on the bus, or in a car. Go to hoopladigital.com, sign up with your library card and PIN number, which is usually the last four digits of your phone number, and give them your email address and you're in. Seniors and juniors, please make sure you check the list of colleges visiting this fall. Lists are on cable TV, the guidance website, posted in the guidance office, and in your English classrooms. Sign-up sheets are in the guidance office, and you must sign up two days prior to the visit. There will be a senior class. <clears throat> there will be a senior class meeting during Power Block on Thursday. Community service hours for the seniors are available this Saturday, September 10th, for Raynham Youth Soccer's opening day event. See Mr. Monopolis if you are interested. Students taking AP Seminar and online course, please make sure you sign in by block on the attendance sheet in guidance. You may stay in the Learning Commons, Cyber Cafe, or Common Areas. The WB Boosters are in need of student volunteers on Saturday, September 10th to help with the car wash fundraiser at the Town Hall. The car wash runs from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. They need about 14 volunteers every hour beginning around 9.30 a.m. for setup. Students can sign up for multiple hours. NHS and seniors will receive community service hours. There's a sign-up sheet in the office. Volunteers are needed for washing cars, rinsing cars, holding signs, and selling duck race tickets. It's fun and it's simple. Student Council will have their first meeting before school on Thursday, September 8th in room 204. The meeting begins at 7 a.m. All high school students interested in joining are welcome. Attention all Leos and anyone who wants to join the Leos Club this year. There will be a meeting this Friday during Power Block in the 8th grade commons outside of room 112. Also, the Lions Club needs volunteers for Park Day this sun Sunday. Any student needing community service hours, see Mrs. McAuliffe in 112 to sign up. Today on the hotline, the Wildcat Cafe is serving a chicken patty on a bun and fresh corn on the cob. Pizza quesadillas will be available at the pizza station and the featured grab-and-go wrap is Asian chicken with crunchy chow mein noodles. <laughs> Warm, freshly baked donuts will be available at break. The JV field hockey team picked up their first win of the season with a 2-1 victory over Oliver Ames. The varsity field hockey team lost 3-1 to Oliver Ames under the lights. Kelsey McClellan put together a stellar performance in goal, holding OA scoreless in the second half. Mia Smith contributed with a goal scored in the second half. The team looks forward to playing Brockton on Thursday at 6. That's all for the announcements today. On behalf of Haley, myself, and the morning crew, have a great day.